the impact money quote of the day is from Roger Babson. And Roger Babson, obviously from the picture, uh, is lived a long time ago. Uh, not like a long, long, long time ago, but a long time ago. Uh, and he was an economist. And he said, let him who would enjoy a good future waste none of his present. You know, sometimes it's kind of an interesting thing when it comes to money. Because there's, there's people on this end of the spectrum that literally save almost everything. They don't do anything fun. They make all their clothes. They make all their food. They rarely go out and do anything fun just because they're saving and saving and saving and saving and saving. And then you have the other end of the spectrum that, I mean, there's nothing you could do to keep money in these people's hands. No matter how much they get, no matter what happens, no matter how well paying the job, the money just disappears all the time. And so the question is, is how do we find that happy medium where we're not 100% only living for the future, but we're also not 100% living in the present, where we're saving for the future, enjoying the present. Because the thing that we don't know is how long we are going to last. And so sometimes we get so focused on how long is the money going to last, where if we don't even know how long we're going to last, and we're just shoving all the money into the future, but we don't last that long, then what was the point of saving all of that money? But then if we live in the present and we assume the opposite, that, hey, maybe I've only got a few years left on this earth, then uh, if somebody only lives for the, for the now and they, you know, spend and spend and spend and spend because, you know, they don't want to, you know, not have fun now and, and whatever, then they're not going to have any money for the future. Right? And so it, it's finding the happy medium between both before we dive into the meaning of this quote is, is, is find that amount, but it just comes down to budgeting. Because if I have zero budget, if I don't dedicate money to fun, then every time I have fun, then I'm going to feel guilty that I should be saving it for the future. But then if I don't budget money for fun, and I only budget money for the future, then I feel like I'm sacrificing what I could be doing today with my family, taking that trip, paying off that car, doing whatever, because I'm just so focused on money in the future, right? So the whole idea is creating a plan, sticking to the plan, having money set aside for the now, having money set aside for the later, and so I'm not necessarily living in one or the other, that I found the balance between the two, but I'm not wasting my present. Be and and, and uh, I want that good future, and so I shouldn't waste the present moments. And in my opinion, is that's taking advantage of every day. Because a, a successful life is just a long strand of a whole bunch of successful days. And if I'm failing every single individual day, I cannot succeed in life. I cannot succeed in life if I'm, if I'm losing every single day. And so to enjoy that good future, don't waste the present, not meaning save everything for the future. It's take advantage of the present, save for the long term, save for the short term, but also live now and no extreme on any. And I can promise if people would budget those things, budget fun, budget time one-on-one -on -one with each of your kids, budget time with a spouse. You know, why we build good relationships is because we're actually budgeting time for those things. And that's our impact school of money, money quote of the day. Mm -hmm.